Yeah, and he's also just trying to be a physical bully on the inside as well. Although Bariga is trying to get me in a two as well. He's saying. He's getting much me in it, but Bubba used that size advantage. Yep. And push the issue with it. Like that. Bariga yeah. slamming two left hands back to back. Yeah, I mean, this is the championship of the world online, so, you know, you've got to have no time for niceness. It's going to get a bit chippy in there at times. Nice. Gonzalez is also gone by the moniker of you you win or you learn and he's learned from the setbacks in the world title fights previous to defeating Soto back in October of last year to win the belt both guys are loading up that left hand a bit too much and Roy you mentioned it a couple of rounds so they started to throw straight, they might land it. Both guys are just telegraphing those left hands. And it looks sloppy, you know? It yeah. looks sloppy when they're doing Both it. Both guys, literally, they're, they're mirroring each other's left hand. And they were raised or sharp early. This fight has had a very high level of physicality to it. They're missing because they're loading up so much. Both if they throw them. straight, they'd be landed. <laughs> One minute, round 11. It's going to be another one of those fights where both guys are going to feel like they won them. Yep. Oh, this is that. A hook there by Gonzalez. And in rounds where so many missed punches are, are, are happening, shots like that can carry the round for you. He got it back. Gregor's has got it back. <laughs> Grazed him a little bit, but it sure looked good. So did that one. Gonna work our way to the final three minutes of this title fight. Round 12, they are going to fight to the finish. Bamba looking to complete the Puerto Rican sweep tonight here at the Osceola Heritage Park. Maybe he lost his foot inside. Yeah, lost footing. Yeah. Got another champ, aggressive really start. Yeah, another aggressive start. The champ really pressing in the 12th round. Yep. I mean, I guess he want to leave the last impression on the judges that hey, my aggressiveness won this fight. That I am the champ, and I'm trying to stay the champ. And it's like he flipped it up one switch, Roy, in about the ninth round. Yeah, exactly. And he's he's stuck with it. Around championship time, you know. Yeah, he's exactly. Still, he's yeah, still yeah. looking for that big left hand that he keeps missing. Oh, good hook. Good hook by Gonzalez, which has been successful for him the last couple of rounds. And if Gonzalez is able to hold on to the title, you got to give credit to his partner. He got great instructions yes. in the championship round. Yes, he oh, good yes. shot. That on the shoulder. That should have did it. Right. Made a good noise, though. Yep. Under 90 seconds on oh, the clock. Butt. Yep. Flash of heads there. Another one. And you see more effects on Breezer. Nice combination. Might be straight two for Bariga. 
But I bet she'll be ready for strike three. <laughs> All right, stop, stop, stop. Man, I would have liked to see him turning it between the co feet yeah. What the main event? Right? Right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Let's bring that back. Bunch of winner, winner against the winner. Right. Even though we're not sure who the winner was in the co Well, no matter. Oh, okay. Good action here. 30 seconds. That's a great point, right? And Paco saw it. You got that right. Great sportsmanship. Yeah. By both fighters. A hell of a fight. Yeah. Great sportsmanship. Cordova could get the winner of this fight. Find out who the winner is as the judges render their decision. And on ProBox TV, just because we are ProBox TV, the man for the fighters, by the fighters for the fans, I think we should always go back and try to make these fights for the next season. Look at the highlight package. See, see, get rocked with that left hook early, the right hook early, rather. And from that point on, that's when we were sitting outside letting Barriga box. Then he landed his own right hook. That changed things a little bit. There you see a little body work, both fighters. But when any time uh, Gonzalez pushed the issue, he seemed like he did better. Baby boy throwing one, two, that was a low blow. That's when that caused the problem. He lucky he didn't get one or get a point taken. There still we see Gonzalez constantly on the attack. Anytime he was on the attack, he did much better. He was inside the right. box. It was I, worth it. I felt like in the earlier rounds, Barriga did a good job of punching in between Gonzalez, and that sort of came to an end as he got more fatigued and the, the, the action got a little sloppier. I felt like it favored Gonzalez more because Barriga was doing less of that, he if was. not at all. He was, and like I said, that bit that pressure. I think the body size to deal with the mass inside because he was much heavier than he was at the weigh in. And did it with that weight inside like that brings on that fatigue a little earlier. And I think Barriga got fatigued, and that's why he stopped punching between the punches. Great respect at the end yep. to championship level fighters, world class. Who will leave with the belt? Here is Mark Lichtenfeld. Go to the scorecards. Rose Lassend sees it 115-113. Alexander Levin and Efren LeBron both score the bout 117-111 for, for your winner by unanimous decision. And still, WBO Junior Flyweight Champion of the World from Caguas, Puerto Rico, Jonathan Bomba.